an interesting movie. I thought that movie was terrific, didn't you? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on. It seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that a good movie should have a central theme, at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a funny movie once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. In the bus. I see you're reading Harry Potter. How do you like it? I can't put it down. Have you read it? Yes. In fact, I just finished it. The ending's great. Don't tell me. I have only 50 pages to go. Okay, I won't tell you who dies. Don't tell me anything! Okay, but I'm biting my tongue. Good, bite hard. Such a shame, though. What is? That Harry dies. Oh! In the bus. Mr. Adams, have you seen this ad in the Recruit News? Yes, I saw it. But I'm not interested in finding a new job. I've been here since I graduated from my university. I like working here. Really? I've only been here one year. And I'm already tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm afraid of getting really bored. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Wherever you work, you have to do the same thing every day to a certain degree. Well, what's more, I've been working about 10 hours a day since last month. But you've been getting paid more money for it, haven't you? Yes, but I'm not interested in making more money. I'm going to apply for another job. What kind of job?
a secretarial job. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. A date. Two. Hello. Sandy, is that you? Yes, uh-huh. Who's this? It's Gil. Gil? Gil who? What do you mean, Gil who? Gil Dixon, of course. Oh, Gil, I'm sorry. Yes, we had a date last night. Where were you? I waited for one hour. Oh, I'm sorry, Gil. I couldn't come. Couldn't come? Why not? Well, I had to pack my stuff for my trip. Why didn't you call me? I wanted to call you, but, um, I couldn't remember your phone number. And now I'm going to forget yours. Smoking. Do you smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was 18. So how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for 20 years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoke two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. But I had a hard time. If you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. A death. Did you hear about the Smith family? No. What happened? Mrs. Smith passed away this morning. That's a shame. What from? Heart attack, I think. That's a terrible thing. Yes, Mrs. Smith went into hospital last night by ambulance and died this morning. Had she been suffering from heart disease?
Yeah, Mrs. Smith had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? She had two operations, but they weren't effective. I feel sorry for Mr. Smith. A birth. Have you heard about the good news in the Wallace family? No, I've been out of town. Mrs. Wallace went into the hospital last night and gave birth to a baby girl seven hours later. That's very good, but they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five-year-old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they wanted a girl for a long time. Was it natural childbirth? No, she had to have a cesarean.